So welcome back and today I'm going to be doing a speed build video on the Hailstorm refit and fitting it with D1000s. Um, I've got a bit of a plan and it came to mind I had to put it together. Um, did a massive speed build today and what you're going to see is everything I've done up until the point of testing the weapon um, which is fun. I've also got a good friend of mine here who's playing Skyrim in the background so if you are curious if you hear any strange uh, yarls, then yeah, that's what that is. So we're going to get started. I put the symmetry on the same place, right on the core in my little cockpit. Decided to build the cockpit last and actually put the power in first. So at the moment I'm struggling in the dark trying to put my first box reactor in, which is all I'm going to use is box reactors. There'll be one going straight down the tail, one going round the cabin, and then one going uh, around the entire canopy. So I thought, hey, what's the point in putting all those little reactors in there when I can just have a massive box? So that's pretty much what I've done. And uh, yeah, shouldn't take me too long to finish that section off. I'm on the second one already now. But yeah, the idea was to make a hailstorm missile system, migraine trigger trademark system the exact same as before only um, with missiles I don't want to have so many layers because with missiles you don't need as many you just need something to hit so that was the plan anyway <clears throat> so moving on we continue just sort of creating the reactors and I've already got a load of thrusters down the one side which I keep uh, but the bottom floor, I did take it out in sections because I planned to put things in there and then afterwards I just removed the whole thing because it was kind of irrelevant and I didn't want lots of different little groups of things everywhere. I've gotten into the idea of connecting all the systems up because it kind of looks nice. And even when I got onto the power storage on this, I decided to use, um, like, I want to have a little walk around group inside the ship so it's not you know just full there's going to be corridors and there'll be access hatches to the weapons areas and things like that so but that's already built in i just wanted the reactor to look kind of cool so uh i think i managed to pull that off my target was one billion energy i don't know if i managed i think i did manage to make it in the end but it wasn't easy i can't remember but yeah Nearly done with the reactors now, I'm just checking the corners to make sure they're optimised. Obviously you have to remove the opposite corner on the box reactor. So now I'm just getting rid of that floor and ceiling, I forgot to put the symmetry on. You ever do that? Do a load of work and then forget the symmetry's not on. And then you have to go back and do it again. <laughs> Okay, so I experimented with extending the reactor, but I didn't want it to come out too far because battle damage means if I lose the big reactor, then suddenly it's got no regen. Even though this is actually focused on storage, not regen, I, I, I thought, yeah, don't worry about regen. So I found if you connect every group of your tanks, you get a nice bonus. Uh, which stacks so obviously the bigger your reactor the bigger your power storage capacity um, the bigger the bonus is for having them all connected and so that's what I'm doing here is I've got one in the bottom one in the top there'll be a central conduit that will attach the two and that will also attach to the tail which is just going to be more storage I figured it's the best thing to have in fact as a filling because yeah you can put shields anywhere but they just get chipped away so really you want to have them inside so your shields are always at maximum it's the tanks as long as you've got enough you'll always have enough to do your recharge but yeah so anyway I'm building the conduit up to the top there give it a quick save and then on to filling the tail in and to be honest, just filling in a big empty space in the dark with, is, is quite difficult. I wish there was like a night vision or something sometimes. Because <sighs> then I could like see in the dark without having to worry. Uh, so it took me a while to figure out what size I could get away with not poking through all the surfaces. 
but I, I think I got it in the end. And then it was just a case of filling in all the get air gaps, because I wanted the whole tail, like I say, to be full of storage. Might put some thrusters in the back end, but you don't really need the thrusters to be where you, you know, visually have decorative thrusters. So that's basically the deal. So using symmetry on two axes to you know, I only actually did a quarter of the work. And then removing a few of these tanks from the outside edge because you know they didn't want it. I wanted it to look like the old hailstorm. I could have reskinned it. I had a reskin, but I didn't see the point. I may as well just keep it looking as is. I'm gonna have new turrets though. That is something I'm gonna have on it. Although I'm recording this after having finished, and uh, yeah, spoilers. So. Wait till the end. There's only 10 minutes till the end anyway, and I don't think I speed build the whole of this. So here we are building the uh, tanks together for connecting the tail and the forward section. So that's that. Uh, I'm really fond of the power tanks design, just using these little blocks and then connecting them up like a little circuit board or something. It's 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 cool. So I whacked a faction block in front of the core and then the D1000 computer's gone on the back. The arrow was pointing forward when I placed it. And then I start making the, um, checking that, so yeah, 332 for each group. It's five by five by five. And one in the middle on the front so that the missile comes out there. Huh. Even though that probably doesn't work, I probably got to go around and set all the outputs. I haven't actually done that yet, so maybe that's why I've got this problem. <laughs> so I'll go back and try, try that for the next video. Put a base of shields on the back to build off of. In retrospect, I should have just used hull because the animations from all the little shields, it was causing me about... At the worst of it, I think I dropped down from 38 to 20, 20 FPS. Lowest I saw it was 15, but it would always dip up to 20 again. And I did all of this on my laptop as well. I didn't do it on my main PC. I actually did this on my laptop. Because I wanted to see, you know, I'm building on an i3 machine with an integrated graphics card. So I'm not on, like, my best machine. Because sometimes, you know, you talk to people and they don't have the best machine. So if I'm always on my best one, I don't know what it's like. So I like to do this every now and then. An i3 machine is entry level now, you know, really if you're buying a new one you should get i5 or equivalent AMD, if that's your flavour. So, just, I decided to um, put a small, small, you know, stack a few small arrays in front rather than having another big full sized one because that would make a little bit more sense. You off to bed Pete? Good night, Pete. Yeah. Good night, then, Pete. And here I think I put a few of them the wrong way around OCD, had to take them out and replace them. Um, I didn't actually miss that many times, which is cool. Um, usually I miss loads and have to delete what I'm doing, but it went, went okay. Um, the idea was to put a shield block in between seven D1000 blocks and then just stack them forward all the way to the canopy. Uh, the idea was I'd get maybe five projectiles, if I was lucky, in front of the main one, which would have the power. So the idea would be they'd get hit by a bunch of little pellets, and then they'd get hit by the big one. Um, that's the plan, or that was the plan. Um, so, yeah, so it took a while, but I've got symmetry on two axes, so I'm only having to do a quarter of the work. 
and uh, when it was finished it actually did look really cool I was going for this kind of big open area because I want to put like floors in between every other layer or just gantry ways so there's like an inspection route that you can walk through because it, it looks epic when you're walking around inside there with all of the columns coming forwards in like a grid um, but yeah this bit did take the most amount of time obviously this is sped up 800 times so, uh, but like I say, I think it came out okay. Performs quite nicely. I think it needs a little bit more thrust, but there's plenty of room for that. So, and yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing for the next five minutes. <laughs> <coughs> Just basically putting more guns in front of a shield block, and then a shield block and more guns, and then building it out. Um, and uh, eventually I'll make it to the canopy and I think that was pretty much it I'll just give it a test run so here we go and like I say my frame rate did drop quite a bit here look I'm, what am I down to 12 Ooh, I didn't even notice it was so low lighting was weird until it was finished. When it was finished, the lighting sort of figured itself out. But to be honest, I've become a real fan of the exposed internals, like not burying everything, just like having an engine room. I think it was the Misfit by R.I.P. His, his ship, I think. I've got to check, I've got to go back, but I think we looked at it on a stream. I need to, we need to look at it again, I think. I can't remember. But uh, I remember it having an engine room with uh, loads of decks. And I like that a lot. See, I'm going for a sort of uh, steampunk leviathan missile boat right now. <laughs> just, just, just torpedo tubes as far as the eye can see in every direction. Almost looks a bit like the inside of a nuclear reactor with all the cooling rods, but it's not what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> but there's going to be corridors, pathways, and gantries with an access route through to the cockpit this time. Decided to make it a little bit more accessible. Also, there'll be turrets on the tip on the tail. Uh, I've already got the turrets built. I just need to fill out the insides, which is another speed build. I can't wait to get done. Um, and I got two sizes of those, so yeah. But I have got more mushroom shaped turret ships planned. Uh, I don't know, it's just the shape's quite good because you've got a big, big canopy. Something I haven't done, which I've always planned to do, is actually mount four turrets on the canopy itself. Um, but I'm toying with the idea of putting it actually inside it, so... Right, looks like we get to fire it then. Okay, so first test. Um, I think I wanted to get a decent camera angle on it. So that I could actually see what happened when it fires. And so lining it up, yep. You can see the Exile warship in the background there. That's nearly done. I'll have some more information for that on that very soon. The dueling mini game with uh, side loaders or side loaders. Right. So yeah, save it. Oh, I tried to shoot. And I got 10 seconds of lag, and I was like, oh god, save it! And I don't think that I ever saw any projectiles. I think the game just pretty much froze, and I had to restart. But I did come back and have a little fly around in the van ship. And, uh... Yeah, I was looking around the inside of my hangar, and I was like, hang on a minute. The projectiles are all still in here. That's scary. They're still... I was like, uh... They didn't come out the tube. 
the game just went, huh? <laughs> and it looks pretty, but hmm, yes. Hmm, might have a bit of a problem with the propellant on these uh, torpedoes. Looks cool though. Yeah, so I think I actually reversed the hailstorm a little bit so that I could reveal them. Yep, there they are. The mad payload that never was. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, thanks for watching, and um, I'll be back when this works, slash, with more ships for you. So, thanks again. See you next time.